Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use our part number 555128 which is a motor and or gear motor mount in order to take the load or actually if you have a robot platform it's a very heavy load instead of actually applying that load down on the shaft of the gear motor or motor itself you can put it in line and actually have a ball bearing out on the out on the end to be able to take a majority of the uh, majority of the force so I'm going to go ahead and attach 555128 you might have to spin it around like I said in other videos to find the correct hole two holes to line it up next we're going to go ahead and grab the three millimeter Phillips head pan screws put the other one in tighten these down there we go next we're going to go ahead and add our shaft coupler Obviously, the, this precision gear motor has a six millimeter bore sh or six millimeter diameter diameter shaft, and we're going to be attaching it to a quarter inch diameter D shafting. And if you want to attach this to a regular RC or a brushless or a brushed or just a you know, basically a surplus 540 size motor, most of those motors are going to have a quarter or excuse me an eighth inch shaft. So you'll actually want to use our eighth inch to quarter inch shaft adapter for those applications. So but we're going to go ahead and attach our shaft here, right in line with the D the flat spot on the shaft, tighten that down. Now we're going to go ahead and put it on our motor, gear motor. Tighten that down so it looks just like that. Next we're going to go ahead and slide it right into our channel. And you can see there the gear motor is actually offset on the mount so you can, depending on your application or space constraints, you can put it several different, orient it a little bit different for whatever application. I'll go ahead and put in our little screws. Let's put this one in first here. We're not going to tighten these down all the way yet. Go. Like I said, this works out really, really well if you're building a pretty good sized heavy robot or robot pla wheeled platform and you don't want to have the motor or the case of the gear motor to take taking the entire load of the of the robot. So now we're going to go ahead and take one of our quarter inch uh, flange ball bearings, slide it in the end here. There we go. And now uh, we're going to take it. So now you've got obviously you can see here the shaft is now supported by uh, an exterior ball bearing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take this one step further and show you one of our new little uh, skate wheel or skate wheel and or robot wheel mounts. This one can go directly onto the quarter inch shaft and line it up with the D. And you can see here these actually have just a little little lip on them right here, so they run right on the race of the ball bearing. So we're going to line that up. Tighten that up. So now where you can see we're almost complete here. And this actually has a quarter 20 thread right in the end of it. So now we're going to go ahead and mount one of our wheels. We can either mount a smaller diameter wheel or one of our larger blue diameter wheels. But we're going to, or we also offer these in various colors, obviously. But we go ahead and mount this smaller wheel. Let's press that on. And this little wheel mount kit also comes with all your screws and extra hub here, or the cupped washer. Go ahead and slide that in and then we're going to put in the 3 8 inch long quarter 20 socket head cap screw and we're going to tighten this down. And there you go. Now this gear motor doesn't need to take the entire load, vertical load of that, of the wheel or the weight of your robot. It can easily Take that weight, and obviously this is just a short piece of channel, but this works really, really well if you're just trying to build some type of a robot chassis, omnidirectional chassis, something like that, or, or a multi-rotation chassis. So there you go.